Hello YouTube, I'm Dylan, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you all how to draw Swiper the Fox from Dora the Explorer. So get a nice pencil, a good piece of paper, let's begin. Swiper's head is almost a triangle shape, almost of a sideways triangle that goes like this. And remember to always draw very loose and light at first, because remember, we're not going to use all these lines later on. We're going to get rid of some of them later. Next, we draw his body, which is sort of a hot dog shape or a stretch circle shape. Then for his legs, you can just draw these two. This leg will be small because it's an oval and this leg will be kind of like a triangle then you can draw little ovals for his feet and then right at the back he has a tail so you draw that then we need to draw what will be his hands and arms this one will be down and this one will be up. So we've got his basic shapes. Now we need to draw his eyes. And his eyes are these almost quarter sized, almost perfect circle shapes. And there's two of them. They're nearly close to each other. And then inside those eyes, you're going to draw some slightly smaller circles for the pupils. Put those right in the eyeballs. And then put a small little circle at the top for the highlights. And then make those pupils black. Okay, now we'll give him some eyebrows. that go like this. Then we'll define the edge of his head a little bit more. And now we need to draw a line, a curved line at the bottom. This is, this is his mask. And then we have to draw his ears. They almost look like cat ears. They're triangle shapes. Well, they're more curved, but not soft triangles. Then you're gonna draw another one right here. Then you're going to draw another one that's slightly smaller, except this one you draw a whole one. The bottom side of this ear is tucked behind. All right. And then we'll draw his nose. And here's the other side of his mouth right here and then you're going to draw a curve up here and then for his nose you just draw a slanted oval 
like slanted this way. Then you're gonna put a small little circle inside for like a little highlight. And then you make that black as well with the side of your pencil. Okay, now what we gotta do, we gotta draw the whiskers and there's three of them on each side. They go like this. Okay, next let's draw the bottom side of his mouth. And he's going to have his teeth showing. So you're going to, and they're going to be like alternating triangles. There will be three facing up and four facing down, just like that. Then here's his lower lip. And it's going to go like this. Now to finish off his mask, we need to draw the knot the and the tassels. So you draw this half circle that goes like this back here. And then you're going to draw these kind of leaf shapes. And another one at the bottom that's a little smaller, like this. All right, next we're going to draw this curve right here. Okay, and then we need to draw another one that's in a similar shape. That will be the his stomach. Now let's draw his feet. Here's like an upward curve. And the other one. Then right here, you're gonna draw his feet. Here's his other foot. And then you're going to get the back side of his body. And before we get to his arms and hands, we will draw his tail. So you're gonna draw a large backwards question mark shape. Then you're gonna draw right below here, an S shape. And then you're gonna draw that similar pattern that we did for his feet for the end of his tail. Next, we need to draw his arms. So we'll draw the one that goes up like this first. And then we will get his other arm that's facing down. All right, now we need to draw his hands. He's wearing gloves, so you're gonna draw a curve and two different kind of C shapes. One will be forward and one will be backward. Then you draw his thumb he has three fingers. Here's the back side of his palm. Then you draw So 
So there's that. Then draw a palm line. Next, we will do a similar thing with the other hand. Draw kind of a bottom half of an oval, a curve. Here's a thumb. Here's three fingers. and a palm line, just like that. Then if you want, you can go ahead, take the side of your pencil and put a little shadow under him. Oh my God. Okay, now that we've completed the drawing, what you can do now is you can grab the eraser and get rid of some of the construction lines that we put earlier. We've got some in his feet. Got some outside his hands and arms. And we have some in his face as well. Some in his eyes. Just get rid of the lines that are light and loose and that are messy. So that way, when you have the lines that are dark, it, you have a clean and crisp drawing. Just take your time with it. And there you go, that's Swiper the Fox. Hope you all had fun following me, and if you did, please make sure to like, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time. Bye.